you know, Bikini Bottom used to be such a beautiful place. Such a beautiful place, that is, until they decided to strike. Our so-called friends, known as the scuba divers, tried to gain our trust. Gain our trust just to betray it. Our so-called friends, known as the scuba divers, tried to gain our trust. Gain our trust just to betray it. And, I mean, we obviously fell for it. They were friendly at first, we just thought that they just wanted to check out our city. But really, they wanted to destroy it. But how are we so dumb? Are you kidding me? Obviously these scuba divers were here to catch us. What else? What else? Wait, uh, SpongeBob, can you please explain what's happening? I don't, I, I don't really think I was paying attention when those astronaut people or whatever just did exploded everything. Like, wh what happened, Sponge? Well, I mean, you remember the first time that they came over here? They were nice, I guess. They didn't do anything to us. Something ticked in them, though, and they just decided they wanted to destroy us, capture us, and do whatever, you know? I mean, they are humans after all. They're smarter than us. They probably had this whole thing planned. We're gonna gain our trust, and then when we weren't expecting it, take over. To be honest, we should have known something was up. I mean, Plankton hadn't come to steal the formula in months. Turns out that the scuba divers had taken over the Chumba again and captured Plankton. They held him hostage until he finally told them what they wanted. The recipe to the patty hats. Patty hats were things that controlled people. You were one of them when you attacked me. I miss those days. The patty hats weren't obviously regular patties though. Plankton had put some kind of machine he invented in there so he could actually take over the people's brains. Using the hats would be too obvious though, so they just used a mechanical machine and put them on random people, in their pockets, anywhere that fit. Soon enough they had a large enough army and they destroyed the whole of Bikini Bottom. Any other civilians either ran or hid, just like us. We're probably some of the only citizens left that are still alive. But Spongebob, you just said that some people ran away. That means there's still some people alive. What if we find them and bring them in our crew so we could actually stand a chance against the Scoop Divers army? Well, Frederick, to find them, we're gonna have to run away and look for them. And the Scoop Divers will catch us if they see us doing that. Actually, Squid, I think he's right. Look at us, we look dirty. We look exactly like them. We could get away with it. Yeah, we'll act that we already got recruited to their army until we find other civilians, and then we could get revenge on these scuba divers. I guess you guys are right. Yes, by my calculations, this plan is foolproof. Yeah, and I got a bunch of friends that might be able to help. I can't believe it. We might actually have hope. We might actually have hope. 
Oh my goodness, this is so scary. Hey you! What you guys doing standing over there looking all sus? Well, we're part of the new patrol group, so we're gonna go check around the other parts of Bikini Bottom to see if there's any hiders that will join our army. Okay, don't take too long though. <laughs> Just hop in already. We didn't find any people to join our army. You guys can still check though, because these imbeciles weren't helping me look. So we probably missed a lot of them. Now that I think about it, I don't think I recognize those guys. Better ask the scuba divers about it. Wow. Surprisingly, that actually worked. Okay. Frederick, Squiddy, and I will go looking for some people. You guys stay here and keep watch. Ah! SpongeBob, what happened? Creepy, scary guy. I know it might be scary, but don't be afraid. It's just old man Trankins. Don't worry, Spongy. I was afraid of you too. Okay, guys, we were able to find one person, old man Jenkins. I think you guys know him. Cool. Well, now I'll show you where my friends are. Poopy poopy butt face is the password. Fred, welcome back. Hey, the spongy fry cook. Nice to see you again. Yeah, it's very nice to see you helping people, especially during this hard time. Anyways, here's your army, the spongy army. Wow, that is so amazing. I didn't know there were so many of you guys hiding here. Yeah, we've been looking for people to join us for the past couple of weeks. You know, we might actually stay in a trance. Yeah, it's me, Lego Sponge Guy. Uh, I, I bet you didn't expect me to come back, but basically... Um, a lot of stuff has happened, I have a lot of YouTube channels, and I feel like I'm letting you guys down by not uploading on this and, like, uploading on my other channels instead. So, sadly, this is gonna be the final LEGO SpongeBob series. Probably, I don't really know. I just wanted to make an interesting story for the end. I'll explain more in the last episode, but this will basically be, hopefully, a four-part movie type thing, and then at the end, like, I'll put them all together for, like, a movie. I don't really know. But, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I might come back in the summer, but I'll just wait to talk about that in part four in the finale. But, um, yeah, basically, uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy. This will be the final season until I get, like, a break, because I don't know. <laughs> this took forever. But, yeah, I, I will do part two. I know you guys won't think I will, but I will. Okay, whatever. See you guys. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this. Thanks for all the support.